What's up, YouTube? It's Tommy Forte, aka Tom Israel, and I'm doing this video about this new Netflix movie or show that's about to come out called Cuties. And it's actually made by a black woman. It's starring a young black girl who's uh, trying to break away from her normal customs, which is a Muslim, and to start getting in twerk contests or dancing. And the problem I have with this video, not only is it made by a black female, but is basically draped in pedophilia and sexualizing these young black girls. There's two black girls in it, one white girl and look like an Arab girl or a Middle Eastern or maybe a East Indian girl or something like that. But they doubled up on the two black girls. So basically, this is, even though there's a white girl in there and there's a non-white girl and there's two black girls, but basically it's made by a black female and it's sexualizing black girls. And the problem, one of the problems I have with it is I don't see any black females really discussing this or talking about it, you know, criticizing it. I've seen at least 10 white men talking, allegedly talking bad about it. Um, I have a feeling they'll be tuning in. That's another story. But what's odd is you have white men speaking out against it and you have black women being quiet about it. That's rare. That's very rare. Because, again, in this country, black females wouldn't have, even at that age wouldn't have never been would never been sexualized if it wasn't for who? The white man. It's their doing. Because during slavery, uh, white men would have sex with girls that age. They would get their virginity and then send them on sex forms to get pregnant. And just like I said in one of my other videos, as um, soon as black females hit the shores of America, a lot of them were sold to um, whorehouses. Everybody wasn't on the cotton field or tobacco field, sugar, sugar cane field. Uh, everybody wasn't on those those plantations or in the in the big house. Some black females were sold straight to whorehouses. And when men came in town, pirates or whatever the case may be, off of business, they would go to the whorehouses and have and have sex with mostly it was with little girls. Another problem I have with the movie, because again, I made a movie about, I made a, a video about this movie called Little, where this 13 year old, where this woman uh, turned into a 13 year old girl. Now, even though she was a girl, she still had minds of a woman. And this 13 year old girl was acting very, uh, I, I don't want to say sexual, but it was ver very, very, uh, uh, flirtatious, uh, too much so, you know, with a white man, a white man in his forties. Here's this thirteen-year-old girl is on this in this movie, being very inappropriate with a grown man. Now we all know you couldn't flip that around. That would have never. They would never allow. A movie to be made where it was a white woman who turned into a 13 year old girl and she's flirting with a grown 40 something year old black man that would never happen that would never ever happen white women would be outraged uh white men would be outraged so that would never happen but they'll use a black female to make a movie like that which will allow it to happen So they getting so you got a movie Cuties and you got this movie Little 
both made by two black women sexualizing young black girls. And see, this is the thing. People, you know, a lot of black females say, well, black women are, you know, even Megan Thee Stallion said, you know, when she got shot, uh, black women are protected. Y'all, it's because y'all not protecting yourselves. You don't, you, you know, you, then you say black women are least value. You know why? Because y'all not valuing yourselves. Look at a re look at a response from the WAP vi the WAP video with Cardi B and the, this cuties situation. Bl black females, just you're, you're silent. LSU, the girl from LSU just graduated from LSU and made killed by a white a white boyfriend, stabbed her like 11, 12 times. You know, um, silence. A lot of black female content creators, you, you talk about this, that, and the other. Let let some black uh, basketball player say something about a dark-skinned woman or let him say uh, he liked dating a non-black woman or whatever the case may be. You have five, six videos on that by five, you know, by five different content creators. But you can't report on a girl getting stabbed by a white boyfriend at LSU. Why? Because it, it goes against the narrative. You don't want to make a video, you know, you don't want to, you know, discuss WAP, you know, and a lot of, a lot of sisters like it, which is, especially in your twenties, you don't have no criticism for it. You can't even visualize somebody 12 singing that song, but that's what, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have young girls singing that song and gyrating and all this foolishness. That's, come on now. But let some rapper say something, you know, about a dark skinned girl or, or something, then you, you're making videos. But you, you can't you can't discuss cuties. And you heard of it. I know you heard of them. You know, you know, you heard of cuties. It's like I said, about 10 white men and made video talking about it's disgusting. Like I said, which I don't believe them. you know, they're going to watch it. The truth of the matter is white men, you know, you white men, you go to Africa, you go to Kenya and all of these these places uh, in Africa, and you know you have you having sex with those little girls and boys. So you you know you, you you're criticizing it, but you, we know you're tuning in. And I just I just find it weird that you know the, the you know the two people, white men, you know allegedly have the most to say. Black women have the least to say. Come on now. What's wrong with that picture? You're the one, you know, you're the ones who sexualized them in the first place. We got to do better as a people, like I said. You know, every time they want to push a narrative, they always have to use a black person. You know, they're supposed to have the first... Uh, Gay superhero. Guess what color he is? <laughs> gotta be black, right? Couldn't be. He couldn't be white. He just gotta be black. You know, for you know, every time you, you need a homosexual for the Democratic uh, Party or for the Oscars, you gotta use a black person. We picked up your habits. Black people didn't even practice that stuff at one time. I'm old enough. I remember. It's like if, for instance, if Arabs, let's say there's another 50 years and all of a sudden, you know, you start seeing Arab people that's gay. You know why that would be? Because they've been in this country and they're adopting to people's customs and habits. We were the same way as a people. We weren't doing that stuff. We picked up your habits, believing in uh, zodiac signs and all this foolishness eating pork and stuff. We didn't do those things. We're picking up other people's custom and habits. You practice your holidays, different things like that. The same thing, like I said, with, the, with these practices. We're picking up other people's habits. It's 
And, and you know, and what they do is they use, just like Will Smith, the two movies he made with his company. I mean, you know, because they was trying to, you know, all in the 2000s, they're trying to push a narrative. He had two movies, Pounds, what is it, what is it Seven Pounds and Lakeview Terrace, the two movies he came out. Okay, but guess what? Both of those movies had sisters with white men in it. See, in order for you to make a movie, in order for you to make a movie or to produce or have your own company to make movies, guess what? You got to have, uh, in both movies, you got to have black women with white men. Come on now. That's like, you know, if, uh, let me see. Um, if, uh, let's say Iggy Izella or, or uh, it might be a bad person name. Um, any white actress or whatever. If she comes and said, you know, she wants to have a movie company or to start making movies. And, you know, the first two movies she have is about a white man being racist you know, to a, a black man and a, and a white woman. And then her very next movie, she also has a black man with a white woman in it. Come on. People will draw conclusions. So I got to draw the same conclusion. They're using us just like they used Issa Rae with Little and the French woman and make the cuties. They're using us to push their agendas. And they're using our children. To, to, uh, to do it as well. And this has to stop. But like I said, you sisters, you need to, you know, you need to, you know, y'all say that black, you know, that black women are least valued. Come on, man. You got to value yourself. Criticize when, when, when sisters need to be criticized. The movie Little is disgusting. People thought it was just so cute that, you know, no, that's foul. You have a, a little 13-year-old black girl saying the things she was saying, acting inappropriately with a grown white man. And then this movie, this movie Cute is, no, that, that, look at the cover. Who, who looked the worst on the cover? The two young black girls. They looked the, they looked the, uh, the worst, the more perverted. We got to do better. I'm Tommy Forte. You like this video? Like, comment, subscribe.